Is this the battery? Or the, yeah, the battery's not fully charged on the phone. I'm like, oh, I'll do a rubber band and see how that works. It works good, actually. Surprised. Loaded the bobbin in, um, followed the, the masquerade, masquerade the video. I, I put the links in the Facebook. I'll try to update the YouTube video. Oh, I'll be this video. What am I saying? I'll put in this video the links below. Feel free to comment down below if you have any questions. You know, hit that like. Smash the subscribe button, you know, click the bell for notifications, and like I said, make a comment, share with your friends. Next up is I've got to get this loaded in the shuttle, put back in. I already had this stitching. Um, let's see. That's a Viking. Viking screen. Man, those are Viking good ones at first. It sucks. I wish I would have moved that stitch selector. So it must be these ones. Okay, here. Yeah, these three are the... Um, so you can see it first. Come on, focus for me. There you go. Too tight a tension, then um, too loose a upper tension. Oh, wait, let me think. No, no, sorry. Too loose a upper tension, and then too tight a upper tension. So I got to loosen that back up. And I need to, I needed to go back in and reset this also. This I should have. For some reason, I was setting it on this little piece right there. Technically, there's. Um, there's a little indentation on the piece that I'm supposed to set to tighten that on. It seems to be seems to be okay now, as is, because I, I did do that. But I did kind of want to go back and double check just to make sure because it was sticking up higher. Okay, um, let's see. Let's get this loaded and thread stitch it. I'm not gonna go over that. It seems pretty straightforward with other video. Okay, pausing. Okay, um, I was trying to get this, uh, after quite a bit of few stitches, as you can see, trying to get this tension correct, these here, and, um, the upper, I think, was too high, um, on a few, most of these, until I got to this, uh, these, yeah, I think it was these, this one, this one, I'm trying to figure out the stitch selection, I'm guessing the screw out further is a narrower stitch, and there's no, I don't really know where that is. So then all the way in is the widest stitch, because those are all the way in. And then um, these were still all the way in, and then I started tightening somewhere. Yeah, I think it's this one right here, I started tightening. Oh, excuse me, I started loosening the, the, um, that screw so the stitches look closer and um, try doing like kind of a free motion quilt with the presser bar up to go back stitch but, uh, I guess there's some trick to be able to do with on the non reverse machines I don't know yet but I think I've got that now it almost looks like that Holes are so big, I almost wonder if I need like a smaller diameter hole. This, for this material, this is where I don't know sewing too well. This is, a, maybe I don't, I should be using that point. I should be using small thread also. Some, something different, the ball point, so I don't break the thread. Um, I don't think, I think that's pulling in, that's not over. And on the back side, looks good too. A little bit too loose, or the, the too loose example is here. You can see the white thread. Um, yeah, that one there. Actually, it'd be starting up here, excuse me. Actually, it's up here. Yeah, here you go. It's this one. You can see that the upper tension wasn't high enough, and then the others. It's probably too high. And you can tell it bunch up the fabric too, or I think I got it. Actually, it's kind of a ways out more than I expected. So again, I can I'm guessing these tension discs could be why somebody gave up on this. Um, these tension discs need to be flatter, smoother, and polished. And the rounder versions might not be so good with the VS2. I'm not a hundred percent certain, but um, to, that seems pretty far out to be. Um, uh, especially after resetting that spring. Um, to be loose, but oh, I did. I forgot to note. I put the old spring. I took the new spring off, and I put the old spring on. 
so um yeah but it still seems it still seems odd how it's so loose prior even with that spring um hmm well i did re i did readjust this because this was this was getting stuck way up and not coming back down so now it's kind of got more attention too this is where I've got to work on a little more. If you read the manual, some the, there's not as much manual information on these ones, but I still have to read it. I should be quoting from the manual. I want to note also on this, I had to bend this out slightly. So two things, actually. I had to tighten this screw so it stays stiff when you pulled out. Screw right there. And then this I had to bend out slightly because that was too far in and it was rubbing up against the bobbin head. It's just rubbing up against on here too also so pulled it out and wound the bobbin perfect so pretty straightforward and you can see those videos linked below i think i'm going to call this good tension i think i probably can still play with this a little more but um, i'm going to work on some other machines and then i'll get back to uh stitching and you know on these and less bitching i guess <laughs> but um okay so six minutes Take care, be safe, stay healthy, and bye for now.